Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra for the month of October. It is a general reading and uh, so that means it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And um, although I am uh, reading for October, uh, you can be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Um, also, I will be delivering um, messages from the person most on your mind at the end of this reading. The person, uh, whoever is in question here in this reading. Now, um, this could be the other person, but it could be you. And if, if it is you, then the messages are what you might wish to tell them. So let us begin. This person, whoever this is, you or them, they're, they they got real angry, upset, and would have done something in the moment, uh, an abrupt movement, an abrupt action um, that would have went against what the heart wanted, but, but it's like the mind or the imagination uh, took over. So imagined things were what was at the root of this action, of this uh, abrupt ending, okay? It could have ended on a harsh note with harsh words being spoken. This person does come to regret that action. Um, there is a... This person is carrying a chip on their shoulder. Um, this person is very prideful. Ego would keep them from uh, admitting that maybe they were wrong. Um, they may have uh, suspected uh, deception on your part or that you were wearing a false face but this person uh, was misinformed this person took a small event that's what the teacup is saying they took a small event and uh, it it got blown out of proportion it was exaggerated so possibly something this person, uh, one person said, the other person uh, misinterpreted that, took it the wrong way, um, and blew. But, you know, um, I feel like they misunderstood what you were saying and were misunderstanding the feeling or what was in the cup, you know, uh, maybe because of what was said, because they're not happy or they weren't happy. They were upset. Uh, so they weren't happy with the options. Um, and so would have refused and abruptly ended this, but not because they don't love you <laughs> because they do. And even if they're not showing it, because these are hidden feelings, hidden feelings, hidden desires in this two a cup, a hidden love. Oh yeah, they love you all right. Um, they would, uh, though, put on a very good show of I'm fine without you, you know. Um, yes. And so... Um, Deep down, they are hurting, they are suffering because we have endurance here. I also see uh, we have the body, so that's the joys of the body, the sorrows of the body. The same with the teacup, and can be um, uh, the cup can actually represent a, a sacrifice that one makes uh, that brings either joy or sorrow. Well, uh, I have to go by the cards that surround this card. 
with humanity here, the body and endurance, it is definitely a sacrifice that somebody made that brought them sorrow, that keeps them living in sorrow and pain with the, with the body here and endurance. So this person uh, misunderstood something and uh, pride is keeping them from coming back to admit that. They may even be very good at convincing themselves that, oh, well, yeah, yeah, um, uh, I'm right anyway, right? You know, maybe they were waiting to hear from, hear or get a sign from you. Um, and if that hasn't happened, uh, well, they would have took that to mean something else, you know? Um, it's like a, they would feed or little things would feed their egos somehow. Um, they felt that you weren't being fair. Uh, it's why this, uh, relationship didn't work or didn't grow or if this was a reconciliation or a new start it's why it didn't work they felt that somebody was not playing by the rules were not being fair but again the teacup tells us that um, they took a small thing and blew it out of proportion they did not have all of their information and at some point, this person does see this. They uh, may have walked away uh, because they thought that this was a bad idea. Because they thought there was a deception, you weren't playing fair. But, um, yeah, because we see it here. They were, uh, they didn't know what was going to fill or, or be the options for the, fill the cups in the future or be the options uh, in the future. Uh, they didn't know what was true and, or, or what was false, what would happen in the future. This is a lot of worry over the future. And they were too afraid to look they suspected or were not trusting the coin that was offered having to do with the empress so a long-term relationship uh, new beginning uh, growth and so they felt that you weren't on the same floor they um with that tower and so they delivered a very sharp stinging news most likely and ended it Yeah, but they were missing information. Yep. And um, so there was a culmination of, you may have uh, had a few discussions with this person, but there was that final one. It's like a culmination of things um even a culmination of imagined things that caused this storm where you went your separate ways. And here's the same night, you see, he caused it. Yeah. And so it came to a very painful ending with that Ten of Swords, but um, this card also speaks to hope. So it may uh, have ended, but it doesn't feel over. And uh, so here we have the hangman and the star. And so the hangman, um, he may feel like he's, you know, kind of in a, between a rock and a hard place, so to speak. He's trying to, um, he feels like he can't escape, like there's no way out of his position. And everybody's blaming him. You can see they're all pointing 
fingers. So he feels he's going to be blamed. Because why? Because deep down he probably knows that he's uh, he did uh, he was wrong. He made an error. We have it here in the card of humanity. This is somebody who um, who wants to make up for a mistake or an error they made and regain uh, something that they've lost. Why did that happen? Because of the of the teacup. That's this person. So they know here that they've made a mistake. And uh, but they don't know how to get it back. They don't really want to face up to that. <laughs> I told you, you know, that 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 blame that that um, finger. Accusations. They that's what they don't want to face, you know. Um, so so they're like, um, again, you have that pride holding them back, but they really want the wish. The wish is here. That's what they're trying to figure out how to get, uh, perhaps, uh, how to get it, but to avoid uh, all those, that finger pointing, you know. So that would be the obstacle. It's their, you know, not wanting to really face the responsibility of perhaps what they've done. Um, but, you know, the Ten of Swords is about looking back at our mistakes and um, uh, looking back at the errors we made, right, uh, in order to, uh, uh, to fix the future. You know, you, you, you need to look back to the past. And when you see the errors, well, then you can fix them, and that brings hope for the future. And um, so he knows what he's done, but he doesn't really want to face it with this person. Uh, so he's trying to figure out how he can avoid that. He's very, very burdened by all of it. I feel like there's um, going to be divine intervention here uh, with the High Priestess and this angel. Something is about to break this energy. This person has been analyzing with the hangman. Uh, see, the hangman's trying to figure out what's the next best move to make. Okay, and here we have this King of Swords who's looking at the chessboard. That's exactly what he's doing trying to figure out what is the next best move to make. Oops. And then we have this angel on this Eight of Wands. This angel represents an unexpected force that is about to break this energy of, um, of not knowing what to do. Okay, not knowing what is that next best step. Um, and so it could be that he receives a new uh, inspiration, a new idea, a new way, but it is divinely given. Because the wands are the birth of new ideas, new situations, due to the intervention of an outside force. And so, I feel like, I feel like they come up with that way to do it. I feel like uh, there will be a decision and communication um, from whomever is in this position. And so, what they would like to say to you. Huh. Okay, so, they wish they had treated you better. It's almost like uh, this person had maybe had uh, low self-esteem. They could have thought that you uh, 
uh, it's like it's like they thought that there was deception um, around feelings uh, I'm getting. I wish I had treated you better. Um, I left you before you could leave me. So they thought that you were going to leave them because of something perhaps that was said and felt in that moment. And that, and, and maybe you're quite unaware of it, but that was the tiny, small, little thing that set all of these events into motion. Because it was something that was imagined. I left you before you could leave me. So they were imagining that. You came closer than anyone. So many things remind me of you. This person can't forget you and they're not going to forget you because they clearly are in love with you. And it is through our past mistakes. That's what the hermit is doing. Because the hermit is looking not to the past. He's looking to the future. He already knows the past. So it's through the past that he can set his future. Learning by experience. Somebody is getting a wish. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.